Welcome to Mancinelli's Math Lab. Another requested video. So let's cover this. We have N is given to be the number of claims. Um, and <clears throat> based on the question, well, they tell me that the probability that there are zero claims is 0.7, probability there's one is 0.2, and probability there's two is 0.1, implying basically that N can be zero, one, or two. So a discrete random variable. <clears throat> um, and those are the values. So. Uh, we're given that the claim amount is distributed uniformly from 0 to 60. So whatever the units there are, it doesn't really matter. Um, and so now there's some, it's kind of tricky just defining what you want your random variables to be. Um, because this is one individual and they either get, they either have one, uh, no claim, one claim or two claims. So if they have no claims, there's going to be no claim amount. If you don't have a claim, we're not going to basically, there's no claim amount. I mean, that's, that's obvious, right? If there's one, uh, then we have a claim amount representing, a random variable that represents the amount of that claim. If there's a different claim, in other words, if there are two claims, we have a different amount uh, for that claim there. Each of these are independent, actually, and identically distributed. Actually, they didn't even say that, but there is independence, right? Now, we want to know what is the probability the total benefit is less than 48, where um, basically the insurance company pays 100% of the claim amount. So, we need to figure out what the heck is T. What is the random variable T? So, let me actually do it over here so I can leave it up. Uh, the random variable T, the total benefit, <laughs> that was horrible, is what? Well, it could be zero. When could the total benefit be zero if n is zero? What else could t be? t could be x if n is one, and t could be x plus y uh, if, if n is two. So that's it. Think about that for a second. I mean, as the insurance company, we're going to pay you nothing if there are no claims, and we're going to pay you whatever that claim amount is, X, if there's one, and we're going to play, pay you whatever each of those claim amounts are individually if there are two of them, right? All right, so let's do, let's find what we're looking for. Let's find what we're looking for. So let's do that. Let's see what I can say here. Let's get rid of this. Give myself plenty of room. So, again, we're after what is the probability that the total benefit is less than or equal to 48? Or less than 40. It doesn't matter. It's continuous random variable, so it does not matter. So, what am I going to do here? Well, <clears throat> the claim amount, if you think about it, depends on n. And if you want, Again, I mean, how much detail do I need to go into? If you want, you can write this as a bunch of and statements. So this is probability t is less than or equal to 48, and n is one. Plus probability t is less than 48, and n is two. Plus probability t is less than 48, did I skip one? And n is zero, I went backwards, whatever, you know what I mean. I'm gonna use the law of total probability. Bottom line, this is law of total probability business here. So this is the probability t is less than uh, or equal to 48, given n is zero times the probability n is zero plus boy I want to fit it all in this line this is probability t is less than or equal to 48 n is one probability n is one let's squeeze one more in here right we can do it we can do it plus probability T is less than or equal to 48, given N is two, times the probability N is two. Barely squeeze it in there, barely got it. Let's just write these things down. I'm gonna need more room, so let's get rid of this. Get rid of this stuff right here. We can remember that much. Now, what is the probability that the total benefit paid is less than or equal to 48, given that this individual filed no claims. Think about it for a second. This is one. This is one right here. 
Yeah, I mean, this is going to write that. So this is 1 times the probability n is 0. It's 0 0.7. Plus, now what's the probability that t is less than or equal to 48 and n is 1? If n is 1, the probability t is less than or equal to 48, this is the probability that x is less than or equal to 48. Probability that x is less than or equal to 48 is 0 to 48. X is uniformly distributed over the interval from 0 to 60 dx times the probability n is 1. That's given as 0 0.2 plus draw a picture. I'm going to write this out first. This is equal to the probability that x plus y is less than or equal to 48 uh, given n is 2 times probability n is 2. This is picture time right here. This right here, draw a picture. I mean, you could do a double integral if you want, but why? This is a uniform distribution. Might as well have a picture. It's not too bad. Here is my quick sketch. I have x, I have y, and x and y both go to 60. Let's go out to 60, 60, and 60, and 60. Let's do this. It's actually going to be a square here. Let's not even look like a square. God damn it. Let's make a square. And we want x plus y less than or equal to 48. Here's the line x plus y equals 48. I want it to be less than that. Oh, so this is easy, right? I mean, this is nothing. This is nothing. The length of this is 48. The length of this is 48. The area of the triangle is 1 half base times height. That's how you compute this order. This is uniform distribution, no integrals. You're not even allowed to. I'm not going to let you. I will not let you use an integral here. This is too easy. What's the probability? Uh, what is this probability? What's the probability that x uh, plus y uh, is less than or equal to 48 given n is 2? Look at my picture. Area of the triangle divided by the area of the square. I mean, geometry. Easy geometry, right? So this is 1 half times the length times the width, which is also 48, divided by the area of the, re of the square. Area of the triangle divided by the area of the square. It's exactly, I mean, this should make sense. This intuitively makes sense. I want the probability of land in this region. It's just the area of that divided by the area of the square times the probability n is 2. What's the probability n is 2? This is 0 0.1. We're, We're good to go. We're good to go here. So this is equal to, this is equal to uh, 0 0.7 plus, this integral is easy peasy. This is 48 divided by 60 times 0 0.2. Over here, we're just going to do one more here. Uh, this is going to be, let's just write it this way. Um, oh, man. This looks like 1 over 20 uh, times 48 squared divided by 60 squared. This should give you, when you do this little computation, uh, I cannot remember what you get. What do you get? Ah, oh, man. You get point zero point eight nine two. All right, that takes care of it. Tell me what you think. I hope this was helpful.